Hello and welcome back. In the last video I showed you how to create this abstract 3D topographical map. In this video I'm going to go through a little bit more of a detailed process where you can grab a Google map or any topographical map and create it as a 3D scene. First we're going to go to Google. I've typed in Hawaii for this instance and we're going to click on satellite view and in this menu on the left you're gonna turn labels off and let's minimize or collapse that side panel and on a Mac you can take a screenshot by using command shift 4 and you can snag whatever area you would like to capture Next, we're going to take that screenshot into Photoshop. For creating an object in 3D, it takes the light values and extrudes those upward, and then the dark is the low areas. And just taking a, a snapshot, you'll see that we do have some light showing up in the water, and we're not going to want that to be, you know, mountainous. So we're going to have to darken that area. You can use the burn tool or a new layer. I'm going to speed up this process a bit and select the islands with my wand selection tool. I'm going to go into my normal palettes, my normal workspace, and select the islands. Select inverse. And let's grab some of this navy. And by doing command backspace, you can adjust your levels. On the other areas. I'm going to duplicate everything by selecting all the layers, Command J or Control J on PC, and Command E to merge those, and turn off the lower layers. Now that we have our merged layer, I'm going to do a copy, Command J, and turn off the back layer. What we need to do next is create a bump map, and we're going to go to Filter, 3D, Generate Bump Map. And if we pull aside the window, change the object to cube so we can see a flat surface of it. We want a little bit of blur. And we can bring down the low values and up the high to give it a little bit more contrast. And click OK. Next, we're going to switch to our 3D workspace up here at the top, this little window, 3D. And on the 3D tab, we're going to choose Mesh from Depth Map Plane. You can also choose other geometric objects. Create. Once that's created, we can go to our 3D scene and add an infinite light this little light bulb icon, new infinite light. And if I zoom in closer, you can see as we rotate this light, the values are now three dimensional. We do want our map to be in color, so let's do that next. If we click on our three layer, mine's called layer two, copy four. We're going to remove the opacity mask because that just adds extra file space. So we're going to remove texture on this little flyout for opacity. And for the base color image, we're going to edit that texture. 
which will open it in a new tab. What we need to do is copy the original colored map. So we've got a copy saved of that. I'm going to select all command A, command C to copy it, and command V to paste it in our bump map. And I'm going to go ahead and merge those two layers, selecting and command E. Save. And you can keep it open or close it. If you want to adjust anything, you can leave it open. Let's go ahead and turn off that back layer again. And you can see that now our black and white image is in color. And on that infinite light in your 3D, let's bring the intensity of that down. So you can spin this around using your 3D. You can orbit the camera around. And we can adjust the height by selecting the layer and scaling the Z axis. We can export this as our 3D object. So we're going to select the layer in our Layers panel and go to 3D, Export 3D Layer, OBJ, and if we open up Dimension, you can drag and drop the object into the space. Tap F on the keyboard, and if it didn't bring in your image, the colored image, you can go into the layer, and for the base color, your layer that has the colored version on it. And we want to increase the roughness so it's not glossy, and by tapping one on the keyboard, you can orbit around the object. And we can do a quick render to see how it's coming along. In Photoshop you can also render the scene If you want to render just a selection in Photoshop, you can select your Marquee tool, select the area, and in your Properties panel, 
you can, right by the trash can is the render button. This will help save you some time if you want to speed up and just see a small selection. Once you're happy with your scene, you can add details like clouds or fog and you can edit the colors and make it as realistic or virtual looking as you'd like. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.